All right, let's head at week three of Friday Night Hits on your screen right now. I'm Mark Whiteman. Thanks as always for joining us right to it tonight with a sensational game between unbeatens, the Seneca Bobcats and the St. Joe's Knights. It's our Sparrow Financial Game of the Week, and it was a good one. Julie Morris there to break it all down. Well, Seneca and St. Joe's have dominated their opponents this season, but both teams were challenged in this back and forth battle. St. Joe's is up seven to six at the end of the first quarter. In the second, on fourth and two, Seneca going for it. Jackson Burnett hits Matthew Crane for a touchdown. Seneca is up 13 to seven. But the Knights answer with about two minutes left before halftime. William Gillespie punching it in for a score. Seneca blocks the extra point attempt, so this game is tied at 13. The Knights score again in the final seconds of the second quarter. They're up 19 to 13 at the break. Both teams trading punches in the third quarter. Bobcats up 20 to 19 at this point, but St. Joe's responds. Gillespie powering his way in for six. His second touchdown of the game puts the Knights up 25 to 20. They extend that lead to 11 a few minutes later. Bobcats still hanging though. The Burnett and Crane connection working again. Seneca pulls within three. The Bobcats are up four, heading to the fourth. St. Joe scores first in the fourth quarter. Knights quarterback Walker Wood shaking a defender and taking it in from 15 yards out. Knights up 37 to 35. And Wood the difference maker down the stretch. With about five minutes left to go, he finds a hole and he's gone. St. Joe's extends its lead and the Knights defense holds Seneca scoreless in the fourth quarter. St. Joe's wins 45 to 35. Earlier this week, Greenville News, South Carolina Prep put us number one at 1A and we had to answer that. We've never been there in school history. We had to answer that type of pressure and the boys did tonight and they know they had a big team against the top 10 3A team and they answered the bell, answered the bell. Seneca plays Woodmont in its next game. St. Joe's hosts Ware Shoals next Friday. At Seneca High School, I'm Julia Morris, WIFF News 4 Sports. Julia, thank you. Mighty impressive win for St. Joe's. Not many teams off to a better start than Burns. The Rebels have scored at least 54 points in each of their three wins, and they have been stout defensively as well. Greer coming off a big win over Blue Ridge last Friday. No score first quarter. Rebels ball, Kobe Shaw. He's off to an incredible start this year. Hooking up with Tyleek Brooks, and Burns is on the board. 7-0 in the second quarter. Greer on the move now. Josh Runyon connecting with his guy, Chase Bird going deep and Bird is into the end zone on the bomb shot. They tie the game up at seven. This was a tight game, but it's the Burns defense holding strong in this one and they hang on to improve to 4-0, 23-14 over Greer. Boiling Springs and Matt Real hosting Hillcrest, the Bulldogs new head coach, getting his first win last week, but tough to step in front of these charging Rams. Hillcrest, Logan Coldren. Cold as ice, running in for the six-yard touchdown. Rams on the board first, seven to nothing. Hillcrest into the second quarter. Bennett Judy, the top passer in Greenville County, and he's going deep to Coldren over the shoulder, and Coldren's going all the way down to the two-yard line. And just a few plays later, well, you already know Hillcrest is going to capitalize. Bennett Judy in for the one-yard score, 14 nothing just before half, and they go on to win 48 to zero over Boiling Springs. T.L. Hanna at Wren, welcome home. Bryce McGowan's the former Wren standout and Charlotte Hornets rookie honored on the field during the game. Wren punting, it's a trap, but T.L. Hanna not fooled by the fake. Tyler Morgan totally covered up. T.L. Hanna would score on the ensuing drive. 6-0, Trayvon West finds a crease and exit stage right. 72 yards for the Hurricanes touchdown. The extra point no good, it is 6-6, but on the Ensuing kickoff, Vashawn Burton. This game was crazy. He receives the kickoff and he goes a long way back as well. T.L. Hanna coming out on top in this one, 38 to 28 over Red. All right, let's hit up a couple scores tonight. Greenwood beating North Augusta 21 to 14 and Woodmont over Travelers Rest 49 to 29. Spartanburg losing on the road at Grayson 51 to 24. And Ware Shoals, this is a Thursday night game, beat West Oak 30 to nothing. A couple of unbeatens getting together at Powdersville. The Patriots have won 15 of their last 16 games, and Pendleton at 2-0 already has more wins this season than they did all of last season. The Patriots are a high-scoring bunch, averaging 46 points every Friday. Helps when you've got Thomas Williams 
in the backfield, our Mr. Sparky drive of the week. Pat's going to the Virginia Tech commit early and often. He's weaving and breaking tackles. How about a 50-yard gain on the first play of the drive? And then just a couple of plays later, Elijah Hudgens, need anything? He's going to the corner store. Powdersville goes 70 yards in four plays, takes a 7-3 lead. Bulldogs now trying to get back in this game. Luke Gray. Abijah Webb, nice gainer down the sideline for Pendleton, but the Bulldogs get stuffed on fourth down, and Powdersville was just getting started. Eli Hudgens, he's gone, the quarterback with the Zoomies, and Powdersville goes on to win 49 to 10 over Pendleton. Westside coming off an emotional blowout over TL Hanna last Friday, their first win against their rivals since 2016 at home against Abbeville. Rams on a roll, Cutter Woods to Jamison Wilson into the end zone for the first West Side touchdown of the game. They lead seven to nothing at that juncture and they were just getting started. Woods to Nehemiah Smith. Rams led 28 to nothing at halftime. Abbeville would rally, but the Rams hang on 31 to 20 over Abbeville. Eyes on the sky, sky four over Blue Ridge. Scoreless in the first quarter and the Eagles on the fly. Calvin Banks making a deposit from 31 yards out. Great cash. Eastside strikes first as Banks scores the touchdown. Blue Ridge, though, comes right on back, and they're down in close. Tucker Massey punching it in. Eastside kicks it into high gear, and they get the win on Friday night, 37-20. The Jailman Patriots 3-0 for the first time since 2011 on the road at Easley. A special night for the Green Wave. The 1972 football team and 1973 girls basketball team. State champions both honored during the game. Scoreless at the half, third quarter. Man driving, Ethan Anderson throws it right to Noah Pierce. He's on the wrong team, but he's all right for the Green Wave. Flowing back in the opposite direction. And Easley would capitalize with the short field. Ethan Alexander taking off. Green Wave score first. The jail man would get it going. Anderson rolling, hitting, trip. O'Neill, the Patriots go on top, seven to six, but it's easily winners here. And they hand jail man their first loss of the season, 21 to 14. Lions on the hunt. Daniel fresh off an early bye week at home against Hart County and fresh from the start. Opening kickoff, our USC Upstate play of the week. My son, Kelly. Some kind of week he's had committed to Virginia Tech on Tuesday. Houses the game's first play for the Daniel touchdown. Lions just getting started on Friday night. They've got the ball again. Blaine Simons, he's going Kelly's way for another Daniel touchdown. They go up by 14. We know how explosive the Lions are offensively. The defense getting the job done too. Hudson Miller, a huge sack. Loss of 16 on the play. And it's all Daniel in this one, 38-17. All right, back to scores quickly. Saluda beating Emerald 21 to 14 and Walhalla over Southside 50 to 25. Clinton improving to 4 and 0 over Aiken 49 to 13 and Chapman beating Lauren for their first one of the year 24 to 21. Hey, we were taking a quick time out, but plenty still to get to, including just the sixth all time meeting between Greenville and Malden. But first, our Eric Mitchell real estate mic'd up. It's Malden head coach Sayer Neesmith taking us to break. Let's go, kick off, set the tone. And that's perfect, that's perfect. Let's go, let's go, let's go, take it to the house. Go ahead and kick it though, cause if we miss it, they get the ball in the 20 no matter what. Gotta get over there and be tired. Gotta fight our way out of this, guys. We gotta fight our way out of it. Get back, get back, get back. They go right again, gotta get over from all the way down there. Let's go, come on, let's house one, boys, let's go. 